propane and you know we were perfectly content with that um, but we got a phone call asking us to participate so uh, I was interested I'm always interested in finding a way to uh, switch off of fossil fuels when we renovated the house I wanted to put in uh, geothermal and radiant floors but um, yeah when they approached us about uh, checking out a pellet stove I said sure I'll, I'll check it out so we knew that we had some weak spots and um, the idea that this program was also going to include some retrofitting was uh, attractive and then the uh, interest rate buy down was an attractive thing um, so all of those things kind of played together and, and made it a possibility that we would we thought okay this might make sense and I you know I know that over the long haul this this is supposedly um, I think it's a 10-year loan that we took out but I do not think it's going to take 10 years to pay it back because as I said we're saving some serious money over what we were paying for propane and the best thing is that we're warm yeah. was very cold when we moved in there was you know it was a it's a um, we had lath and plaster walls we had um, uh, plank mm -hmm. uh, construction in much of it it was it was very cold and we there was no heat in the upstairs so that was the first thing we did it was I think we were a year or a year and a half into living here when we did renovations to the upstairs and they stripped it down to the uh, studs <laughs> and um, insulated and put a bathroom up there and we also put some insulation in the in the attic at that point in both the attics actually and that helped a lot it definitely helped a lot the upstairs was now livable and then we switched in 2006 we had a major renovation on the downstairs part uh, again we stripped it down to the studs everything was replaced and the walls were um, Oh, and we put an addition on, and the walls were um, insulated to, I think, R26, and um, that, and more insulation was put in the attics, um, we put a, a new furnace in at that point, uh, and switched to propane, and that was another big improvement, and the house was pretty comfortable on a still day. Uh, when it was windy, though, I noticed that it, it was there was still a lot of drafts, and so there was still some uh, energy work retrofitting that could be done, and that's one of the things when when Snack Planet came, they they pointed out those things. Okay. Well, it's fabulous because now I can have the house at seventy two degrees and still only burn two bags of pellets. <laughs> But we put in a two-chamber pipe for our stove so that it wouldn't, we wouldn't have smoke in the house and we wouldn't, have, we wouldn't be drawing from the house air. And uh, when that works correctly, the house just is so warm. It's wonderful. And it's a, it's a fairly spread out house. It's uh, uh, two stories and the second story stays pretty warm. We use the, um, uh, the ceiling fans to move the air around. Um, and it's just it's fabulous how much warmer we are. And we're still saving, we think, at least $100 a month over what we were paying for the propane. It's including the, the fuel. I mean, the whole cost of the project is it's, we're going to get it back uh, just in what we save on a monthly basis. But on top of that, the icing on the cake is that we're warm. Um, you know, I, I just can't. I can't say enough how, how much more pleasant it is to live through winter in Ithaca when your house is warm.